everyone, and welcome back to the Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Let's Play. Sorry my uploads have been really sort of sporadic and short. I haven't been feeling well for a while now, and I'm just sort of uploading what I can when I can, basically. And honestly, I'm thinking about giving up on this project soon. Well, not really giving up, but ending it, since... I don't really feel like I'm getting better at the game. Like, I keep getting to roughly the same spot. Um, and I just feel like I'm stagnating. <clears throat> and it's probably not that fun to watch anymore because of it. So, I don't know. If you guys are bored of the series, let me know in the comments. Because if you are, then I'll definitely move on to something new. But, I don't know. Right now I'm just exhausted and kind of frustrated with everything. So, if you guys are still enjoying it, let me know and I'll keep it going, basically. If I don't get any feedback, then I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure it out on my own then, I guess. Oh, right, I forgot. Vampire. So eat? Yes. See a robe. I think I already have a robe on. Yeah. And a blowgun. I can quiver these actually. I have cure already tipped ones, but I want to save those for something big and nasty basically. Oh, I skipped that whatever we did last time bit that I normally do. Wow, I'm already dead. Wow. That was short-lived. <sighs> yeah, I think it shows that I'm not feeling well. Just playing terribly at everything. Let's be a troll fighter with claws. But yeah, I'm just getting kind of frustrated because I haven't felt well at all. I keep forgetting my skills. And yeah, when I don't feel well, basically everything is hard to do and I just don't feel like I'm accomplishing much in this game anymore. I'm not sure if I was accomplishing anything in the game anyway, but at least the first few episodes, it's not so bad, but at this point you're basically just watching the same stuff happen over and over. Can I drink from this? Yes. Like, we've been through this floor so many times I don't even know what to say about it. It's just, yeah. A bunch of kobolds and bats and stuff flying around. Which I'm gonna... It's just a bunch of kobolds and bats and occasional goblins. I don't know, there's just really not much going on. And it seems like whenever I get to new stuff I immediately die. So, yeah, let me know what you think of the series. If you want me to keep going I will, but... I don't know, it seems like I might be better off just starting something new. I'm not sure what I would do after this, actually. I haven't planned that far ahead. I was expecting this project to last a while, actually. Because there's just a lot to this game. And normally when there's a lot to a game, it will last a while because I'll normally get, you know, a little bit better every episode, but that just is not happening right now. I don't feel like I'm getting any better at this game. Dart trap, it's not really that interesting. And like I said, I don't really know what to say about these early floors anymore. We've been through them so much. I 
should probably start testing some of the stuff we found, but I kind of want to clear out the floor first, just in case I have something that like aggravates the monsters or teleports me randomly. The nice thing about trolls is they'll eat flesh pretty much whenever. <laughs> so, I don't really have to worry about having no food in my inventory most of the time, because before it rots I can just eat most of it. Like so. Well, I do have to worry about not having food in my inventory, but if I pay attention I shouldn't have to. Yeah, right now I ran out of chunks of dead thing. But it's easy to replace. Vehement, who are you? <coughs> Vehement is a destructive god of the is god of the destructive powers of magic. Followers gain various useful powers to enhance their command of the Hermetic Arts, and the most favored stand to gain access to some of the fearsome spells in Vehement's library. One's devotion can be proven by the causing of as much carnage and destruction as possible. It sounds neat, but we're very much not a magic user right now. So, I'm gonna pass. Probably raise my int actually. Or my decks. I'll raise my decks. Oh, that's right, I was gonna try out some of those potions. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back upstairs before I do. Oh, yeah, hatches are one way no matter which floor you're going to, which is kind of awkward. Nothing. Probably remove curse, chant weapon, I'm not using a weapon. I guess sustainability, scroll of annoyance, okay. Well, kind of happy I didn't do that downstairs, huh? Potion of curing, brilliance, magic. Might. Resistance. Okay. Well, we mostly wasted that, but at least now we know what they do. I keep thinking those um, newts are going to be leprechauns because of Enlarn. Another altar. Fittus Madash is the god of plant and fungal life. Fittus demands that followers encourage the decomposition of corpses. Fish forbids followers from harming any species under his protection and from using any necromantic effects that interfere with corpses. In return, he grants a number of abilities that promote the growth of plants and fun fungi. These abilities may incidentally prove useful to adventurers. Huh. Sure, I've never actually... I've never actually been aligned with this guy. I don't even think I've heard of it before, to be honest. So does that mean I'm not supposed to cut up bodies now because he likes things to decompose? Not sure. I'll have to find out if I ever get another body. Maybe it just means they don't drop bodies anymore. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me that much. Shield skill increase, that's good. Gecko corpse. I can eat rotting chunks too as a troll, I forgot about that. Handy. Whipping some darts. I'll pick up the darts. I 
Not that I'm really using them for anything right now, but it could be useful. Should probably actually start using them more. Uh, yeah, so I can pray over bodies for piety by letting him just sort of grow fungus on them. That's pretty handy. Yeah, some toadstools and stuff. Neat. Okay. So now I have something to do with bodies other than eat them. Which may not be a good thing, actually, but... I think I have some... potions of curing, so I'm gonna quaff one of those. Yeah, I have a lot of them, actually. Good. I got rid of my poison. So I guess those fungus and stuff just sort of disappear pretty quickly. Okay. Level 4. Hmm. So I don't know what kind of powers we get from this deity. Did I pick up any unknown scrolls? Yeah. Magic mapping. Cursed jewelry. Fuck. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. And I already know what all those do. So, next floor already. Ooh, shit. Grinder? An inefficient shadow amp previously employed as a torturer in one of the lower circles of of hell. He has a tendency to complain and make insane statements. So is Grinder a unique then? I think it is. Looks like one. Hits like one. Um question might. Managed to kill it somehow. Wow, I got two levels from him too. Not bad. Take the strength boost. And I'll pick up the intelligence boost. Apparently I won't. I thought I got... Oh, right, it's every three levels. Never mind. I'm bad at video games. And I'll let that decompose. Right? No. I don't know what the shield stills actually do, or if they're just a sign that I made what's his name happy, Fedas. It's probably just a sign that I made him happy, to be honest. Puppy! Murder the puppy. And eat his chunks. Um, I'm gonna eat this one too, actually. I know I'm not hungry right now, but <clears throat> I would rather not have to start digging into my food supply if I don't have to. So I'm trying to budget some of the bodies, basically. As sick as that sounds. Uh, identify the jade one. Okay, well, I can't take off that other ring right now because it's cursed still. Let me try that. Don't know what that did. I was hoping it was remove curse. <coughs>
eat those. Mm, fear. No. Ben. Nothing. Probably curse something I don't have or enchant something I don't have. I can't even eat kobolds, so it's really no point saving their corpses if they ever drop any again. So did I get an ability yet? Evolution. Turn plants and fungi into stronger species. Upgrading fungi requires piety. Upgrading plants requires fruit. Plants upgrade gain a bonus to attack, accuracy, proportional to the user's invocation skill, and aqua plants are more likely to spit acid at higher invocations. So I should start working on invocation skill, is what you're telling me. Yeah, that's not really a great distribution, but I'll leave it like that. Ooh, speaking of things that are not great, a clusterfuck of orcs is not something that is great for me. Worked out, though. And I'll just, yeah, let what's-his-name take those for a little while. And eat those hobgoblin chunks. It's kind of interesting having to budget my bodies like this. I do like that, using like corpses as a resource. I'll let Fedus take those. Potion of magic I really don't need. Mostly because I don't use magic. So that floor went pretty well. I'm gonna cut it here before I go down to the next floor. Well, not here exactly. I want to get to the stairs without going down them. There, I'll cut it here. Alright, see you next time. Let me know what you think of the series and if I should keep going or not. Because I can't make up my mind about it right now. So I'll let you guys decide if you want. See you next time. Bye.